up everybody, it's Adam with Fraser. I'm excited to unveil this new product feature. This is the Whelan Core Programmable Light and Siren System offered by Whelan. So this is actually Aubrey Fire Department's vehicle. Aubrey's located uh, north of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and they did a really good job configuring this. So if you've seen any, uh, if you follow us on social media, if you've seen any of the videos on our website or YouTube channel, I think it goes without question Lighting is a hot topic. It's something that y'all really care about. It's something that you're passionate about. And Fraser's standard lighting system is the Wheel & M series, which is what you see on this truck. But we don't sync the lights and we don't program them the way this truck is set up. So we wanted to show you what's possible. The first thing I wanted to mention is the actual lights that you see on the vehicle. So this is the Wheel & M 6 series flashing emergency lights. We did Wheelin surface mount Pioneer scene lights on the front both sides and we have Wheelin M6 series scene lights on the rear and then we did Wheelin ion lights they're a red blue duo uh, we did four on each side below the door three below the body uh, and these all flash and are controlled by the core system which is inside our electrical compartment now the way that we control this is via the control panel inside the console that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But think, I think the thing that you're really gonna care about is the three flashing modes that we're gonna go into. So in, in um, learning more about the system through the people at, through the folks at Whelan, they've done a really good job. They spent a lot of time. They've had people that are on the NFPA boards or Triple K committees, and they're really invested in improving what um, the scene lights and the, the flashing lights and just the chaos that goes on the scene, they want to change that and reinvent that, and this is the solution. So the three modes that we're going to go into and what this vehicle has is the one that you see right now. So this is actually daytime blocking. So you notice the lights are synced together. They're flashing at a pretty slow rate. Um, they're not rapidly kind of bursting and, and like very chaotic. Now. What I'm gonna do real quick, there's actually a photo cell, which is a, a daylight sensor mounted on the dash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover that with my hand and I'm gonna simulate what this would look like uh, if you were at nighttime and you were on scene. So remember, this is daytime blocking. This is what it looks like for nighttime blocking. So you see the lights dimmed and we're in what Whelan calls their DVI flash pattern. Instead of the lights rapidly flashing on and off, 100% intensity, zero intensity, it's a very slow curve. So you dim the lights down and then you bring the light up, but it's a very slow, progressive, easy on the eye, easy on the brain. It's not, it's not chaotic. So I also wanna show you what it looks like when you're in um, what they call a clear of writing, right of way mode. So basically it's when you're in transport, you're trying to clear traffic, clear intersections. This is what it'll look like. So you'll see that the flash patterns changed. Uh, the clear light on the front wall turned on. We're flashing faster, we're, we're brighter and this is gonna draw attention to traffic all around you saying, I'm, I'm needing to get through, move out of the way. So we're inside the driver cab. This is the actual control center for the, the Wheeland core system. So one thing that, that is unique is this is both a, a siren and a light controller. It'll also control things like your Opticom, your air horn. Um, you can, if you don't want the siren integrated into this system, you can still do the standalone wheel and C9 siren like you see on many Fraser units. Uh, but I think a lot of folks are gonna want to integrate all that into one, one uh, control panel here. So there's slide switches. Right now, everything is off. Uh, this truck is set up so slide switch one means only flashing lights on the rear of the vehicle are on. When we go to slide switch two, we're now all flashing emergency lights and we're gonna be in one of the three modes that we just described, either clear, clearing right of way, um, blocking daytime or blocking nighttime. And if I go to slide switch four, that's actually gonna activate the siren. So the siren is integrated into this. There's a separate siren driver inside our electrical compartment and speakers up on the grill. Uh, there's also individual push button lights 
or push buttons for your scene lighting. So we got front, left side, right side, and rear. Or what's really cool is you can do one, one button touch, all your scene lights, all four of them are gonna automatically come on just with the touch of this button. Uh, like I mentioned, there's the Opticom, uh, there's the horn. Uh, they've actually added on the wheel and howler uh, system. Uh, so there's a driver also in the electrical compartment uh, and uh, there's air horns on the truck. So there's air horn activation right here. The most important feature of it is how programmable it is. You know, this is the way this one truck is set up. But for example, if you don't have an Opticom or you don't use air horns or a howler, you don't have to add that on here. This is programmable and customizable to you and the needs of your department. So this is the hardware of the system. This is a CAN based control system. Um, so the actual uh, brain, if you will, of the system is, is located back here in our electrical compartment. Um, there's a certain number of inputs and outputs on that. And then there's expansion modules that are located throughout the unit. Uh, so you may run a wire up to an expansion module in the ceiling and then wires out to the individual lights. Um, and again, depending on how your unit's configured, you may only need one expansion module, you may need four, depending on what you want to get out of the system. Uh, these are amplifiers. So like I mentioned, they integrated the uh, siren amplifier into the system. So this is the siren amplifier here. They have the howler feature. So this is the howler amplifier. One more really attractive feature of the wheel and core system is what they call their vehicle to vehicle sync. So when you have multiple vehicles in your fleet that have the wheel and core system on there with the sync feature added, which is another one of those modules that we showed you, it'll actually sync both your lights and your siren. So when you come up on scene, um, both lights of the vehicles, the multiple vehicles will all flash at the same intensity, the same flash pattern, the same rate, as will siren. So what's, this is really important, especially at nighttime when you have passing vehicles and you have multiple multiple emergency vehicles on scene and you need to allow upcoming traffic to process what's happening and not really cause as much confusion. It's a really, really cool thing to see. Unfortunately, we've only got the one vehicle here. I wish we had multiple trucks we could show this to you on. Uh, but if you want to see more, Wheelan has some great footage on their website at wheelan.com. And if you want to know about more about this system from Fraser, visit us at fraserbuilt.com or you can call us toll free 888-372-9371. Ask for any member of the sales team. We'd love to talk to you about this technology and other new innovative features that we have coming out. Um, I, I know this is very relevant. I know it's something that you're interested in based on the feedback that we get from you guys on social media and the website. So I'm really, really happy to, to show this to you and um, you know, excited to hear from you. Thank you for your time.